Hey, good morning, y'all. Uh, I never thought I'd make another video like this in the car, like, I mean, in this setting, because I'm currently still working on this new setting that I'm trying to have for you guys. But uh, this situation kind of made me want to uh, make a video for you guys. It's, it's early in the morning. It's about 7.23 in the morning. I have a service to be at because I'm, I'm also a musician. So I have a church service to be at at 7.30 and I need to make it. Um, but I also wanted to make this video because I'm in a potential Turo vehicle actually that I purchased. Um, you know, I still got to do some work to it, but I thought it would be a great um, time for me to make a video on, you know, how long you should wait before you put one of your vehicles on the platform. Now, this video is honestly going to be for people who buy used cars from private sellers. You understand? Um, buying used cars from private sellers, you know, everybody could tell you what's wrong with the vehicle or, or even if you buy the vehicle through, through an auction, um, but you can do all the checks that you want to do, even even with with a uh, a a shop. But you just have to understand how the car drives before you give it out to somebody. And me saying how the car drives is, you have to use it in an everyday type setting to really get a feel of what you know, where it lacks certain stuff or where it really performs well so that you can be able to rely like relay this information to your future uh your future renters so now as far as how long you should wait before you add the vehicle or or make the vehicle available you can upload the vehicle to the platform now by all means if it's if you want to check if the vehicle can be put on the platform you may go ahead and do so and if if you already had bought the vehicle, you may you, you can actually add the vehicle to the platform and just kind of like block out certain days up until the time that you're completely ready, or you could just put it on snooze up until you're ready. But what I would suggest actually is a two week period, and the, the reason I say a two week period is because yes, sometimes you you, you may you, you may drive far and within that one week you're like oh shoot everything's good but it, it, it's it's something that's always happened to me where you know i would think the vehicle would be good after about a week and the vehicle go, goes out on a rental and just when it goes out on a rental something decides to just go off it could be it could be something minor like a a um a tire pressure monitor uh i've had i've had that happen before to me it could be it could be your your key um, for certain vehicles who do not have um, a a remote to enter the car or who do not have a push to start feature on their on, on that particular vehicle may have a worn out key now with me that happened with me but it wasn't um, early on in, in that car's life through Turo but it was actually about a year and a half later right um, but there's so many little things that can happen and it costs me some money now because I didn't have a spare key to be able to be like, okay, you know what? I'll just come down. Um, I'll just come down and, and, and give you the spare key. So now within this two week period, I would like you guys to not only drive the car and get an understanding of how it drives, but make sure that you get everything necessary for this vehicle to go out and be a successful vehicle. By me saying that, I mean, like I said, with the key situation, making sure that you have a second spare key. Now, this second spare key may come in handy for so many different reasons. One being the first one that I told, that I talked to you about, maybe a key may be defective. Now, if a key is defective, now you have a second key, a spare key that you can give the renter and everything goes well. Two, the person may lose your key. Now, this is where you can charge for the replacement of your key, right? And then three, um, the person could have stolen your vehicle or your vehicle could have been stolen. And now 
wherever you find your car, the key may not be there also. So you have to think about all these little things, right? And that's about it. So um, I'll be adding more to this video because somebody's calling me, but I'll get back on. All right, I'm back. So, um, so yeah, so somebody may have stolen your vehicle and now your vehicle popped up somewhere and uh, your vehicle probably got towed and now you have the second key because the, the original key was not there and you have to go pick up your vehicle now. Now, that's great. Um, and then also other things that you wanna make sure during that two week period is you make sure that the car gets serviced, a full service. You never wanna bring or give out a car without it being fully serviced. Now, if the car needs brakes done, get that done. If the car needs an oil change, get that done. If the car needs a tune-up, get that done. You know, and take your time to get that stuff done before you put it out on the, mar on, on, on the Toro market because, you know, and don't let anybody rush you because they need a vehicle and and um, you have the vehicle, but you want to take your time to make sure that the vehicle is prepared for them. If, if it's like a repeat customer or something like that, unless you guys like have a really cool agreement that listen i just want the car i really don't care what issues it comes with i'll figure it out all right now i still wouldn't suggest you do that all right so um just make sure that you know if the car needs an oil change if it needs a tune-up spark plugs coil packs make sure you get that stuff done before so you just never have to worry about that for let's say about the next two years um you know, but but month, you, you're doing monthly checks on your vehicles. Make sure all the fluids are are you know at the correct level. Make sure there aren't any leaks. Make sure your AC is fully charged. Some ACs over time could just you know lose a, a, a little bit of charge, so you might need a little booster where uh, they put it on a professional AC machine. See now this car that I have right now, I'm actually starting to hear the brakes um, do that long high pitch. Uh, uh, screech um, when I'm when I'm driving it after a while. So guess what I'm gonna have to do? I'm gonna have to change the the brakes and the, uh, probably the, the rotors. I don't know if it's gonna be the rotors, but if the rotors aren't 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 damaged, I won't have to do that. But back to the you know back to what we're, we're saying. Yes, but I can add that to it. Make sure your brakes are done. Um, if your brakes have enough life in them, that's cool. If your brakes don't have enough life in them or if they have about 50% life in them, um, listen, yeah, still still change it out, still change it out, no matter what, still change it out. Um, check for any, any, you can go ahead and check for any rattles in the vehicle. Something may just be loose. It could be something so simple that's just loose and, and you just wanna get that taken care of beforehand or it could be cosmetic issues you know there could be cosmetic defects on the car um where if you if you really wanted the car to be perfect and you didn't want any scratches on the car or or any big dents on the car after you bought it take care of that that's that's the time that you take care of that stuff you know so once you do all of that and you're driving the car you know and you feel as if the car is is in great condition right then you could be like all right no problem let me open or let, let me uh, release this car and put it on this platform and let let it get rented out now. So that was a quick tip for you guys today, about eight minutes long, eight, nine minutes. I don't know how long it'll be, but um, it's a quick tip for you guys today to make your, your terminal hosting experience a great experience because you just never wanna have those issues um, in the future with a customer calling you saying that, oh, your car is this, your car is that, or, a bad review um sometimes you may be able to get away with certain stuff because it's something that was just it just came out of nowhere so you you, you just have to be able to learn how to talk to customers never never put a blame on a customer you you always want to be you always want to have a, a a great communication uh great communication with that customer so that you can be able to resolve their issues as quick as possible so if you can do that customers love that they actually do love that so i'm about to get in here really quick and i hope that this video really helped you out like share subscribe make sure you subscribe man because i'm putting out more videos and i have a lot of stuff planned out for you guys that i'm just i'm just building right now just 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 hold up for me and i got you